Do you prefer spending time alone? If so, chances are you're an introvert blessed with some extraordinary qualities. People often assume that extroverts are somehow superior to introverts, labeling introverts as antisocial or awkward. But in reality, many of the world's highest achievers are introverts. That's right, about 98% of billionaires are introverts. However, don't get it wrong. Being an introvert doesn't automatically lead to success. In fact, most introverts aren't particularly successful. Some hide behind the label of introvert to excuse social anxiety or shyness rather than working to overcome it. That's simply an excuse, and it's a poor one at that. Any man can improve his social skills, and being introverted is no excuse to avoid doing so. But if you know how to leverage it, introversion can be a superpower. We'll explore six powerful qualities of those who prefer solitude with a bonus insight at the end, so be sure to watch until then. Number one, energy and focus. It's often said that extroverts have more energy than introverts, but that's not entirely accurate. Extroverts draw energy from socializing and collaborating, which is their gift. However, being alone too long makes them uncomfortable, which is their curse. As an introvert, you're the opposite. Social interaction can drain your energy, while time alone or in small groups recharges you. This unique trait is why introverts can sometimes achieve incredible results out of nowhere. They can focus and work in solitude without feeling lonely. Remember, no one is entirely extroverted or introverted. We're all a mix of both. It's up to you to identify which side is dominant and use that to your advantage. Number two, creative minds. While extroverts often follow mainstream trends, introverts are less influenced by what's popular. Since they spend more time alone, they develop unique perspectives, ideas, and insights that are often unconventional. Albert Einstein, famously an introverted physicist, said, the monotony and solitude of a quiet life stimulates the creative mind. Introverts are indeed naturally more creative than extroverts. In terms of business, extroverts might excel in sales, while introverts have the edge in marketing. When both types collaborate, they can accomplish amazing things. The introvert-extrovert partnership is one of the most powerful combinations in business. Number three, calm and calculated. People who enjoy solitude tend to be reserved and don't open up easily. Although this may seem like a drawback, it's actually a strength. It makes them more calm and calculated. Those who crave attention and social interaction often feel uneasy in silence and try to break it, sometimes saying things they regret later. Introverts, on the other hand, think before they speak. They're comfortable with silence and don't feel pressured to talk just for the sake of it. Of course, balance is best. Extroverts should learn when to hold back, while introverts can benefit from being more engaging in small talk. Number four, sharp observation. People who enjoy solitude are often very observant. They have a hawk's eye. While others talk and process information out loud, introverts are quietly absorbing everything and thinking critically. It might look like they're simply sitting there, but they're taking in details others miss like body language and facial expressions. Number five, quality friendships. Introverts don't tend to have a wide social circle and sometimes they have very few friends, but when they do make friends, they choose carefully. Because they're sensitive to feeling drained around others, they value quality over quantity. Introverts would rather invest in a few close, trusted relationships than spread themselves thin across many acquaintances. Number six, great leaders. Many people assume all strong leaders are extroverts, but that's simply not true. Believe it or not, introverts can make excellent leaders. They don't crave the spotlight or need to take all the credit for group achievements. Instead, they highlight the strengths of their team members. Introverted leaders tend to take the time to learn about their team members, making them thoughtful, effective leaders. That said, the best leaders have a mix of both extroverted and introverted qualities and the self-awareness to know when to use each. We've now gone over six qualities unique to introverts. While I could go on about more traits or discuss extroverts' advantages, let's end with a bonus lesson. 
Number 7. The Truth About Introverts and Extroverts If you've made it this far, pay attention because this is valuable. Anytime you see two opposite terms where one is viewed negatively, question why that is. For instance, you often hear about toxic masculinity, but rarely toxic femininity. There's an obvious bias here, because the term was created by feminists and is mostly nonsense. Something similar applies to introversion versus extroversion. Society has a bias against introverts, almost treating it as a flaw. But why do you think this is? It's not because introverts are awkward or shy, it's because people misunderstand what introversion means. They think it's about social anxiety or shyness, which couldn't be further from the truth. To understand introversion and extroversion, you need to look at the original definitions, as introduced by Carl Jung. Realize that neither side is better. Both have strengths. Once you figure out which side is dominant in you, you can lean into it. Some people might argue you shouldn't label yourself as an introvert or extrovert, and I see where they're coming from. If a label limits you or is an excuse, then it's a curse. But if a label empowers you, then it becomes a strength. For instance, calling yourself a warrior encourages you to improve. Similarly, if you see introvert as a weakness tied to social anxiety, it's a curse. But if you understand the real strengths of being an introvert, that label can be a gift. So, are you more of an introvert or an extrovert? And if you're looking to level up in life, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. Until next time, kst.